Hey everybody, welcome to Master Nun Garage. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to build a welding cart for my welder over there. I finally got some argon gas in that tank right over there, and we're not really going to be putting together a welding cart per se, more of modifying an existing thing that I have. So let's get to it. I, uh, I got this, uh, I got this unit in the middle of the street. I mean, it was, it was going to get hit by cars, so I had to save it. It looks like it's fairly new, so somebody just discarded it. I don't know what happened, but you can usually get these at your local All these, they're a quarter. You know, sometimes you could just find them in the middle of parking lots in the middle of the street in my case they're they're really easy to come by this one looks like it's fairly new i'm gonna start breaking this thing down i'm thinking uh we'll put the tank right here through here uh maybe put like a little cradle it probably rests on this bar this blue strap over here would be perfect to strap in that tank and then what we can do is probably cut out a space right here just depends and put that welder so it's facing out this way I'm not sure yet so we'll see how it goes so here we go
So, um, got it pretty much set up. Um, everything is all hooked up. Uh, what I want to do right now is down here, I want to build like a little base plate that kind of like is added um, security for the bottom of it. Because this, I, I'm not going to trust this strap completely. I want something on the bottom, not just this one bar. So I got this uh, angle iron right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably cut some slits in it and kind of wrap it around and give it a gradual curve. So we're going to get on that right now. Okay, so a little mishap. The reason why these welds are so crappy looking, I didn't have the gun hookup shoved all the way into the machine, so the gas was just leaking right out from the machine instead of going through the tip. So I fixed it. I'm gonna clean up these welds, make them look nice. Uh, I was I was a little worried, like what what am I doing wrong? But I figured it out. User error, I'm the user. What a idiot! It's the way it is.
Okay, so I got the mount in the little cradle for the bottle. Oh, done. It looks like hell, but it's strong. I promise. Um, I even painted it kind of the same color as the the cart. Um, so I'm going to throw the tank back in it and I'll have a welding cart. And um, the way I have the, the MIG welder is kind of perfect because I can like scoot it around, pull it towards me however I want. I got plenty of room in this thing, so I might have room for a plasma cutter uh, or whatever, whatever else, oxyacetylene torch, whatever. So there's plenty of room on this one cart to add in the future. So um, I'm going to throw it all back together now. done it's done it's done for now i know i'll uh, add things here and there to make it more useful and easier to pack away and stuff but for right now that's a welding cart was a grocery cart now it's a welding cart and um i think uh it turned out pretty well um i had to get back in the swing of things i i haven't welded for uh, a few months now Kind of like riding a bicycle. If you like today's episode, um, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Um, and uh, tell more people about my page if you like it. If you don't, just tell more people about my page to say, hey, look at this idiot. Anyways, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, and uh, it's almost Thanksgiving. Uh, Hopefully I'll have this uh, done by Thanksgiving, maybe the day after. But if you're at Thanksgiving dinner, um, just go ahead and hug a, hug a family member um, and uh, tell them that you love them and you appreciate them, even if you don't. It'll make them feel good, especially during the holidays. Uh, so, and if you're by yourself, uh, this Thanksgiving, um, you know, turn on Netflix, watch a Christmas movie or something. This has been Master of None Garage. We learned how to make a janky welding cart today. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next one.